virtually the Mike, Squid, Mike Smith training squad. Mike, a coach in Southampton in England, his coach of Chris Akabusi, Roger Black, and Todd Bennett. So he's got three quarters of the team there. And they really are a very fine team. They'll make things interesting enough in 1988. Three minutes, 7.19 seconds in very difficult conditions. and the winner of the silver medal, Bruce Brain, Miles Murphy, David Johnston, Darren Clark, representing Australia. For Darren Clark, for the second time at the Games, a place to the right of the victors. Second position and the silver medal. But certainly he can hold his head very high after a great anchor leg in that relay. A delighted Bruce Frayne, he's finally broken through for the medal and who better to receive it from than the Queen. Australia 3 minutes 7.81, 0. 0. 0. 0.62 of a second and behind the winners. Of the bronze medal, Anton Skerritt, Andre Smith, John Graham, Anthony Mayhorn, representing Canada. Atley Mayhorn adding a bronze to two goals that he'd already won. The individual event, the 200, the 4x100 metre relay, and now a bronze to the big man who really looks one of the potential sprinting stars on the international scene. I've no doubt Mayhorn's got a long and successful future in front of him, and a good effort by the Canadians, but I think all credit must go to the British. They controlled the race from the start. should try and read royal thoughts but I suspect Her Majesty quite proud of her Commonwealth at this moment. I would say very much so and we saw during that uh, medal presentation just how strong the wind is today with the English team almost being blown from the top of the victory dais. So Roger Black joins those who have won dual gold at these Commonwealth Games. Here he did it in the individual 400 metres and he certainly played a huge part in setting it up in the 4x400 relay with an outstanding second leg which opened the margin but Bennett and Brown were able to sustain until the end. So the competition's over, the victory ceremony's over and all that remains is the nostalgia of the closing ceremony and thoughts of what's been and what lies ahead May at Auckland in 1990. Team. Will the general team managers and team representatives taking part in the closing ceremony please report to the warming up area to the east Norman May and Lisa Forrest will be joining me and will those in just a few minutes from now for the closing ceremony which is about a quarter of an hour away ceremony. And until it gets underway, we'll hand you back to Peter G in our studio. Stadium.